guys, welcome back to my channel. I have my wonderful mom here with me for today's video. I know a lot of you guys want to see more of her on my channel and her and my brother out visiting us this week. So I asked you guys over on Instagram to ask my mom and I some questions. So she's going to join me for today's video. Do you want to say hi? Hi guys. <laughs> Glad is, to be here. This is my mom, her name's Terry, and she's going to answer some questions with me today. So I'm going to pull this up and she's going to answer, I'll have you answer like five and then I'll answer five. What qualities do you get from your mom? <laughs> so my mom, ever since I've grown up, I literally, I feel like I'm like a spitting image of you now. Um, I'm very particular with a lot of things like my mom. My mom is very clean and organized, so I get that from her. Um, she is also like very driven, a very strong woman. I feel like I get all those traits from her. Um, what else would you say? Mm, we're a positive, we're both very yeah, positive. very optimistic. Optimistic, yep. Yeah. Okay, someone asked, what is the moment you've been the most proud of, Tara? I would say, mm, probably when she got married to Adam. Oh, really? Why? Because he, you guys are so perfect for each other. Well, it's true. Yeah, you get along so well. He's like your, like the yin to the yang. I mean, yeah. Your ride or die guy, mm -hmm. you know, he's just, you guys just get along so well. It's, even though you have a lot of differences, you come from different lifestyles, um, I think that balances you guys out. Yeah, I agree. You know? yeah. And you're both very honest. You're, you won't ever cheat on each other. You're loyal as all get out. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, when you told me when you, got, when you got engaged, I was like, what? What is we, she doing? We got engaged after like four months, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And it was they were so young, and he was still in the military, and I thought, what is going on? And um, she says, "Mom, wait, wait till you meet him. I swear he will think otherwise." And she was absolutely one hundred bang on the money. Yeah, I feel like Adam's the type of guy that my mom's always like wanted me to end up with mm -hmm. and so that's why I said that because I knew she would love Adam as soon as she met him and we went to the first time we met him was Coyote, like, Grill. Went to Coyote Grill in Laguna Beach and we had dinner and he asked for her hand in marriage and I think like a week later he proposed to me on the beach in Laguna yeah it all happened really fast very fast but it was awesome why doesn't your mom come out very much so I kind of touch on this a little bit, but my mom still works full time, like she's not retired. So it's just harder for her to take time off and come out here. Whereas my dad, he's pretty much retired mm -hmm. and he makes his own schedule. He has a very um, lenient job. So he's he has a lot more time to come out here whenever he wants to. Um, Trust me, it's not because I don't want to be out here, because I do. But I have made a pact with myself and Tara that I'm going to come at least once in the summer and once in the in the winter, mm -hmm. and hopefully Christmas is, will be it. Because I mean, last Christmas was so Christmas much was fun. fun. I know, so much fun with these kids. I know they're getting so big. Hey, uh, what's my favorite home cooked meal as a kid? I think it's salmon. Oh yeah, this, I, I do. Yeah, salmon over garlic mashed potatoes with teriyaki sauce mm -hmm. and then asparagus. Oh my gosh, we should make that this week. It's really good. They it's love so that. Good. My she likes and I both love it. She likes taco salad a lot. Yeah, I grew up on taco salad. I yeah. love taco salad. And I still make that here. Yeah, I know. Like for our family. And chili. Mm -hmm. And when it's winter. Yeah, but I think my favorite meal that she makes is salmon. salmon. Yeah, we should do that while you're here. What are your thoughts on our new house? Oh my gosh. I'll put it in Bailey's words. It's massive! <laughs> Bailey said that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so absolutely extraordinary. It's beautiful. They're not finished with it yet, but Tara has, and Adam have done amazing, amazing work with this house. And I couldn't be so much more prouder of them. And mm -hmm. how, I mean, she, gosh, they've come such a long way. And, you know, she's grateful to all you all, too. You touch, they just are so, so grateful, and uh, it, it shows. I mean, it shows in every day, it shows. Okay, next question. What was your reaction when I started my YouTube channel? 
I don't remember um, like having a conversation with you or like anything that stands out. Nothing really stands out, but I remember when you were in 29 Palms and you and Adam had just met when you were in the military with him and um, you were living off base and um, uh, I don't know. Um, you didn't start there. I think you started you when started you. In Santee. Yeah, you started in Santee. That's right. I watched you too. Right. But she started literally sitting on the side of her bed in her bedroom with a cell phone, just, you know, talking in her cell phone and whatnot. And she did that for months and months and months and months until she just started growing little by little by little by little. And then it eventually got to where Adam bought her a tripod, a, big, a nice camera, and it just blew up from there. And it just. I had no idea this was gonna happen. I had no idea, because I really didn't understand it all. Yeah. But she's a natural, and I think partly the why she is such a natural is she's so honest and real and genuine. With, like, I'm, gonna, Aww, I'm gonna cry right now. You're so cute. But <laughs> it's you. true. You're, t you're, you know, you. you're an empath like me, and you know, we just we're honest. We just don't want to hurt people's feelings. We like to be true. We don't tell lies, um, you know, we just, we're just out there and, you know, you either like us or you don't like us, but, and that's been probably the hardest thing for Tara through all this journey, is the haters, and I can understand that. Um, I don't know why people feel like they have to be that way, honestly, it's not even in my brain, um, but, you know, yeah, she, she can be the sweetest peach in the world, but there's always going to be someone that doesn't like peaches, so. Right. Yeah, I've grown some thick skin over the years. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely have. But yeah, I hate like letting people down and disappointing people. Um, I'm the same way. Yeah, <laughs> but it is what it is. I mean, you put your life out there for millions of people, and there's all those people aren't gonna like you, right? So. But you're likable because you're beautiful and you're real, mm -hmm. and you like your, you love your followers. I mean, yeah. I know you do. You genuinely love your followers. Okay, I ran out of storage. My mom just went to go wipe her tears. She's so cute. I'm gonna pick another question, um, one that's more lighthearted so my mom doesn't get emotional. Um, let's see. Would you or did you ever let your mom cut your hair? My mom has always wanted me to have a platinum blonde little bob. Or an A-line bob. Yeah. And Curl, I, just think like I have cut my hair really short when we lived in San Clemente, and mm -hmm. it was pretty blonde. So she got that already. She got that fixed. I don't like my hair short though. No, you like it long. I like it long. And it's like my security blanket. Yeah, see, I've never felt that way. I've cut. She's kind always of, had a little pixie cut. Well, until like actually my sophomore year in college is when I cut my hair off. It used to be longer than Tara's, almost down yeah. to my waist and thick like hers. Mm -hmm. um, it's still thick, but you can't tell because it's so short. I'm trying to grow this top out. Eventually it will, and I just grow it all <laughs> down. Because I want to. She's been saying that for like 15 years. I, I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> She's and, also said that for 15. Years. I know. I am this time. <laughs> I am. Um, so funny. So I, saw, I hid my scissors by the way at home, so I, I, I didn't have to hide them, someone else hid them. Really? Yeah, so I don't have scissors at home, and I'm not going to take time at the salon, I'm too busy, so I can't do it at the salon. That's so. so funny. What age of Tara's was the most difficult? Uh, her high school years, by far. Um, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah, her high school years from about, I'm going to say 15 to 18, or probably even earlier, yeah. 14 to 18. Well, even into like college years too. Yeah, I mean. It got worse and worse you, it until did. it got better. She, she just got hooked up with the wrong people, the wrong people, and mm -hmm. that was basically what it was, because she's, she's just an honest person, and you know, she's not a shy person. She's not um, somebody who is going to be like a sheep and just hide out over in the corner. And, um, you know, she likes to be out there and, you know, do things and she trusts and um, she probably gets that from me because I grew up in Oklahoma City where I trust everybody. I'm, I just think that everybody's like me, but they're not. And so I had to... Well, learn. yeah, I was very... I'm, I'm still kind of this way. I'm like very naive. Yeah, me too. And I just feel like everyone always has good intentions and that's just not the case. Mm -mm. So. so that was definitely a struggle and 
when she got out, or when she got into her, I'm gonna say about 24, and that's really bang on the money at what I was guessing was gonna be the age, well, where she totally like, it was flipped. like a year before I met Adam is when my life changed. Okay, so I would've been, you were 23? I can't remember how old I was when I got married. Was it 22? I guess 22. No, yeah, it was like 24. right when I hit 21, because I had my 21st birthday. And we had... Was it that early? Okay. But, um, yeah. I and just, then I got married at 22. Yeah. And I had Bailey at 23 or 24. Yeah, she's been busy, girls. She has been busy. But becoming a mom was like the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. And I've always wanted to be a mom. Yeah. So. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. But yeah, my high school years were challenging and I feel so bad for my mom <laughs> to, to deal with to do with me because I'm I'm sure it was not easy but I'm probably gonna get payback with my kids so you will but with one of them for sure <laughs> yeah how was Tara as a newborn Tara was my first and I tell you what I was up with you in the hospital after I gave birth with you oh she's gonna cry again every second I didn't want to fall asleep all I wanted to do is sit there and stare at you and touch you and um love on you like I just I praised God that I would get a miracle baby and I did <laughs> honestly I did it was the most ex uh, absolutely most wonderful experience I could have ever experienced in my life is having a child and she was my first now she she came on August 19th which, which is her birthday mine's August 20th so she was the best present to me ever. she's always said that growing up mm -hmm. but was I a good sleeper a good eater? Um, yes. Um, now, when I first brought you home, not so much, and I need a lot of sleep. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> we both love our sleep. Oh, we do. Yeah. Like, I, I can't function without sleep. So, um, to get her, I, I was not wait, willing to wait till she could sleep through the night. So, what I did is I like, bit a little, a big hole in the nipple of her bottle <laughs> and I stuffed rice cereal in it. And I and, chunked up. Yeah, and she would just, she went like, <laughs> that was really cute though. She, I sat her up in her crib with her stuffed animal Humpty Dumpty and you couldn't tell you <laughs> one of them apart. She yeah. hates me for that, but she started sleeping no, through the night. <laughs> Looking back at those pictures, I was like the chunkiest little baby. But She so needed cute. it. She wasn't getting enough. <laughs> so, um, I think this question is interesting. And each of Tara's kids, who do you think is the most like her when she was a kid? Uh, like, who do you see me in? Tatum. Well, it's hard. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Right now, even though she's only been five months? Mm hmm. I kind of see it too, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. She's still so little, but like obviously. I mean, you're. I don't know. I just like. I feel like I see myself in her. You're, you're definitely not shy. Um, As a kid? Mm hmm. I wasn't like. No, no, no. Like her no, personality? No, not at all. Really? Mm hmm. Not Bailey either. You were more like Bailey, but I can tell what. Um, Tatum's gonna be, and I think you're gonna be definitely more like her. Really? Uh huh. Or you're, she's gonna be more like you, not you're, you're gonna be like her. <laughs> yeah, I think for sure. Because she, she's just already is, is emulating. Is that a word? Emu, emulating? Emulating. Emulating. Yeah. <laughs> emulating. Um, she's emulating, like with all the signs, like the smiles all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. and just being happy. She's always happy. I know. Always happy. She could change though, but yeah, right now she's like the sweetest little thing. Very easy going. Was Tara always so organized? No. No. No, when she, it was all through high school, all the way from little to high school. Oh my God, especially in high school. So messy. She, it looked like a bomb had gone off in her room or a tornado came through <clears> her room <throat> all the time. Mm -hmm. I could, when I walked by, I always had to just pull the door closed because I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand looking at it. It made me want to just rip my skin off because I'm so neat and tidy That's and organized. Yeah, yeah like, when I see like, the, like Bailey is like that. She's so messy, but I'm like, I'm just going to give it some time because I grew into it and now I like emulate a lot of your qualities. So yeah, thank goodness. Cause it's, it just makes your life so much easier when you're organized and you're on it and, you know, you get your kids to follow suit, you know, teach them, teach yeah. them that. Well, for me, organizing is more like therapeutic. So mm -hmm. 
when I, my house is in shambles and when it's really in disarray, I, my mind, like I can't think straight. Exactly. And I have a really busy life, so I have to keep things in order because everything else is not in order. <laughs> everything else is just crazy. Um, yeah. Running multiple businesses. She's real. A bunch of kids. That's true. <laughs> It's a lot, so I feel like that's one thing I can control is like the organization yeah. within my home, and that just makes me feel so much more at peace. But I wasn't always that way. <laughs> I know. Okay, when I was younger, did we split my time between you and Dad? Yes. When you guys got divorced. Yeah. Yes. So after was, we divorced, I went to Dad's on the weekends, right? Every other weekend or every weekend? Um. I don't really remember, to be honest with you. Um, something like that. Yeah. yeah. But I had to work still, and it was really difficult. Um, just it's challenging to raise two children. And when they, when me and my ex-husband divorced, they were like three and six, and um, it was ch very challenging to have to still work and juggle two kids. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I think imagine. we, I think we managed pretty good. The only thing I recall, don't get mad at me for this, but. Um, um, when they, when the kids would come to my house and Tara and I would get into an altercation, um, she would get kind of upset. Let's just put it that way. And um, she would always threaten me that I'm going to go to dad's. I want to go to dad's. I'm going to dad's. I hate you. I'm not staying here. I'm going to dad's. And I'd always say, Tara, I love you, and you're not going to your dad's. This is my time with you, and I'm not going to let you go. Yeah, I would always say that. Yeah, every time. Because she, again, was like very strict and had specific rules and my dad didn't have the rules. So if we ever got in an argument, then I would just go to your room. I would threaten that I wanted to leave and I would call my dad. And I don't know if I ever actually would leave. No. I talked to your dad every time and I said she wants to leave and no, this is my time with her and I'm not going to allow her to leave. This is not right. It's not fair. And you can't let her be the parent and call the, the shots. Otherwise, we, yeah, she's gonna run us over. I mean, she'll have us by our pinkies, and you, we can't do that. We can't do that. We're the parents. We have to be firm, and so mm -hmm. it was hard for him to get Looking that. Looking back, I'm like, that makes no sense. Yeah, for but me. you know now. Yeah, like, oh, I'm just gonna go to my dad's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you a lot closer to me now than when I was little? No, not when you were, no, I, I'd, I'd say yes uh, from you know, when you're in your junior high and high school years, yes, absolutely. You've done like a 360. I mean, no, you... am I closer to you now than when I was younger? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're closer now than when I was little. Yeah, well, when you say little, I'm thinking like um, grade school, grade school and stuff. You were, you were fine through grade school. Yeah, cool. I was a good student it up until high school. Yeah, or maybe it started in ninth grade. That's high school. Oh, that's right. Or eighth grade, from like high school until I got married and had kids, I wasn't my mom's favorite, <laughs> and vice versa. Um, but I feel like that's so common with um, teenage girls and their mom. I can't say that you weren't my favorite because well, I think that's not what I meant. I meant I you weren't my favorite. Yeah, like we, I just didn't really like you because you were strict. But I've always liked you and I've always loved you. I've always loved you, yes, but I was just like a typical teenage girl that didn't like rules. <laughs> I wanted to go hang out with my boyfriend and get in trouble. Yeah. So, yeah. But, you know, we're close now and I knew that would always be the case. I'm Me too. I told stage. you that that was going to be the case. I knew it. Yeah. That's why I just, you know, bit my tongue and just got through those years because I knew it was going to turn around. <laughs> I knew How it. did you... There was a question I saw. How did you manage those years? What would you do? Just pray? Yeah, do a lot of praying, um, a lot of wine, <laughs> <laughs> um, family, friends, you know, I wasn't the only one going through this. Did you ever feel like I wouldn't like come out on the other side? No, never. You always thought I would. Uh-huh. I always believed in you. 100%. Okay, last question is this the career path you thought Tara would be in if not then what do you think it would have been when I was little growing up what um, did you see me doing? I honestly didn't see her doing anything because 
she was all over the place. She didn't want to go to school. She didn't want to go to like college. Little, little. Um, when you were little, little, like what could you see me doing? <laughs> I never really thought about it, to be honest. I was so in the moment. I, am always, yeah. I was always in the present moment with you kids. I had to be, because yeah. I had, you know, I had divided time. What could you picture me doing? Um, I don't know, something helping others, whether it be like a PA or like in a hospital. Um, or that's, my, that's what I would probably be doing if it wasn't for you too. Really? Like I always wanted to be an ER nurse or a labor and delivery nurse. Oh wow. Didn't know that. Doing that. Yeah, she loves people. She has a genuine interest in people and helping others and so do I. Um, so yeah, would I, did it, would I have ever guessed that she was going to be a YouTuber and have her own other two businesses as well? Uh, no. Me either. <laughs> I didn't even know what YouTube was until she told me about it. And now I'm addicted to YouTube. <laughs> I know you're always on YouTube watching stuff. But that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got to know myself and my mom a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs>